So one tip here, um, what we've been doing here the last hour or two to find these fish is actually I've been using my side scan here um, just to locate where this mud is meeting the actual sand grass in this area. There's a, a big concentration of mud. And once you can find that line, I've got a series of waypoints laid out that I can mark from one screen to my GPS screen to follow that trolling line, if you will. What we're seeing is these fish are all relating to that transition. There's a few out in the middle of the mud, but those fish are wanting to stick by the sand grass. They're on the mud side, but they're close to the sand grass as that's what holds most of the bait. So we're just simply driving along the edge, marking out these pods of fish, turning around, pulling them back with a spinner and a crawler. It doesn't have to be a spinner and a crawler. It could be a crankbait. It could be a jig and a minnow, long lined, um, whatever you feel most comfortable with. I chose to pull a spinner in the crawler because they're a little bit spread out between pods of them. And that allows me to cover more ground as I can go a little bit faster, keep trying to pick pick fish off that are part of these little pods. So um, I'll show you here, for example, you can see the lighter shaded here. That is that chara grass or the sand grass that I was referring to. The darker areas are areas of mud or mud and sand. And what we're seeing is, is these fish are hanging tight to this edge, right on the transition line. Um, as we move forward here a little bit, we should be coming right back into where we, we first located those fish. So here we've got the transition line. We've got fish right on the transition. We've got a pot of fish out here in the actual mud flat itself. Um, a lot of times you can pick these fish out, zoom in on them, and I mean, you can almost tell how long they are at times. And that's what this hard bottom structure um, will show. And again, we've got transition line, the left side here, we're just coming out of it now, but if you could picture that grass line right out here off the edge, these fish are hanging fairly tight. At times they'll swing out, but most of the time they're right on the actual transition line. And that's what we've been able to mark. We can mark a waypoint. That's going to then, with these units linked together, show up on this screen here. So now, as you can see, the blue dots, most of these are that grass to mud transition. There's my trolling run right there, right along the edge. And that's where we've been catching these fish for the last hour. It's really important to fine, fine tune your electronics. Um, I like to experiment with a few different color palettes on mine, especially my imaging, um, my side scan and my down scan. I like the greens and the blues. I just feel like those allow me to uh, distinguish some of these transition areas just a little bit better than the darker colors. 